Hi, Fashion Dolls. It is Transformation Tuesday, November 22nd, and welcome to an all-new episode of Style by Stevie. And we're back. Today's special guest, Fashion Dolls, is a sexy singer and songwriter, and I'm super excited to have him here in the dollhouse with me. We're going to talk crystals, and we're going to talk about his music career and so many things, and I'm super excited, Fashion Dolls. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Steven. Hi, everyone. Make sure you guys share the live as you enter. I'm fixing to send this out to Levi so that we can dive right into this convo. And tomorrow's guest, Rich Live, will be joining me tomorrow at 4 p.m., so make sure you guys tune in. But before we get into Rich Live, we have Peter Onorati from shows such as Goodfellas and also This Is Us. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow at 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. You guys will be getting two shows tomorrow, so make sure you guys tune in then. Um, the scent of the day, the scent of the day, in case you guys missed it, is Neroli with Twinkling Nights and Pure Wonder. That is my fragrance combo for today, and I will post it to my stories. So make sure you guys are following my stories. You might see a few things in there. You know, you never know. So while we're waiting on Levi to get here, because I just sent him the live, I just spoke with him. Um, make sure that you guys are subscribed to Style by Stevie Daytime. And thank you so much because of you guys' support. We have officially reached 349 shows. Today makes 300 49th interview and I'm super excited for that. So thank you guys for supporting this platform, tuning in to see the look of the week and so much more. Um, without you guys' support and unconditional love, Style by Stevie would not be where it's at. So I want to give a special thank you to my makeup artist and beauty contributor, Melanie Nella, my Bridgers, my, my team that is behind me, backing me 100%. It means so much. So thank each and every one of you for just coming through and supporting the platform. It means a lot. So while we're waiting on Levi to get here, because I just spoke with him on the phone, like I'm waiting on him. I don't know where he's at. Let me try to call him again, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting on him to jump on so that we can talk about these crystals. And Friday, we also have Justin F. Hollins. He will be joining me Friday. So we got a great lineup this week. Without further ado, let's welcome our amazingly talented, handsome, sexy singer, songwriter, and man of the crystals himself. Levi is here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's add him on. Hello, hello. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Uh, welcome to the Dollhouse, handsome. How are you? I'm great. How about yourself? Wonderful. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Same, same. I agree. So <laughs> before we get into this interview, how has 2022 been for you thus far? Because I know we've had some ups and downs with this pandemic and everything. So how has it been for you? Because you also have, before we get into the music and everything. You also have your crystal business, which I absolutely love as well. So how's 2022 been for you thus far? That's an uh, interesting question because like years prior, around the end of the year, I would start feeling like heavy, you know what I'm saying? Or emotionally, um, something was going on between like, you know, during the winter time. But this year, it really feels like harvest. It, it really feels like I'm reaping things that I sold from throughout the year. And it's been some new blessings that came in and that I wasn't even expecting. So uh, it just feels really good this year. 2022 feels like a good year. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, it has. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Levi, where you grew up, where you were born, and where did you develop this passion for music and the crystals? Uh, so I grew up in Houston, Texas, um, South Side near Missouri City, Rizzo Mopo, for those of y'all who know. Um, and I wanted to be a singer since I was a little kid. I remember uh, when I looked at my uh, career day picture uh, for kindergarten, I was on there with like this big old oversized blazer with a microphone, and it said I wanted to be a singer. 
So, you know, they say go to your earliest age and remember what you wanted to do, what you wanted to be. And uh, that's the most authentic version of yourself, you know, before the world tanks you and, you know, things happen to you and all that kind of stuff. So from day one, I always wanted to be a singer. Um, later on in my life, um, when I got my first apartment, actually back in like 2017, 2018, uh, I got my first apartment, started meditating a lot, went vegan, I uh, was really in search for, for self, self-healing and stuff, because I realized there was some stuff that I needed to work on and things of that nature. So um, just began meditating for hours. I uh, got my first set of crystals. And after that, I just couldn't stop buying crystals. So I had an apartment full of crystals everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I started giving them out. And I started making jewelry from them and everything and um, started selling them. And then uh, it became a merch part for my first album, Levi'sm Volume 1, which is on all streaming platforms. Um, and then that's just kind of how, how it began, kind of went from there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I so, made it, and then during that time, when, if you listen to my first album, um, I made music uh, based on the inspiration I got from the Crystals. So I got some songs on there called like Citrine, which is now called Manifest, uh, Orange Calcite, which is called Peace. Uh, I want to say Vibration was first called Labradorite. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I had a bunch of different songs that um, a bunch of different crystals that I worked with that made me feel, you know, different type of ways. So I wrote lyrics, made beats to them and everything. And I was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to name the song The Crystal or if I'm going to change it up. But I ended up changing it up so it can make more sense. But later on, that line, I might revisit that where I just got songs named after crystals or something like that, you know, just for the aesthetic, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. So what made you dive deeper into the crystals and brought about this lifestyle change? Because you said you started changing up the way you eat and everything. And then it was sort of like a self healing process for you. So tell us a little bit about that. I was just ready for something new. You know, up until that point, I, you know, I was 25, 26. And I realized I was making some of the same mistakes uh, over and over again. And then up until then, I always lived with my parents. And, um, you know, your parents and your family, I think they wish you well, but as we all know, our parents, generation before, they have their baggage, they have their things that they're dealing with. So I was carrying a lot of weight and a lot of trauma that I needed to unload and I needed to figure out. And um, that seemed like the best gateway, the best way to uh, handle those things. You know, I grew up Christian, always prayed, uh, went to church, not all the time, but often. So, um, this new venture or this, this new information I was finding. And it seemed like the world was going to a great ship at the time too. Uh, you saw more natural hair, you saw more crystals, not saying that I was attaching myself to any kind of fad. It just seemed like the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like the universe was trying to call me and pulling me in that direction. And it helped me tremendously. It helped me realize a lot of things. Now I didn't fix everything for me. I still had to continue to do the work. You know what I'm saying? And some things resurfaced. Some things came back. They remixed. So I was like, oh, okay, okay. So now you're coming from this direction. So I, I, I dealt with you before. So now I know how to, you know, uh, better deal with you this time. But I will say after recently, one of the final steps of my uh, journey was actually um, getting on anxiety medicine. So I've been on anxiety medicine for like the past four months, seen great benefit, a lot more relaxed. A lot of people ask me what's wrong with me these days. I'm like, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Because they used to be like, uh, 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 uh. And I've always been like that. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm like, and I'm like, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. You, I didn't even ask you to touch on it, but you, you touched on it. Um, You said anxiety. We know that in the Black community, mental health is such a thing. And I talk about it a lot here on my platform. So what advice would you give to people out here who are suffering? Because we know Thanksgiving is Thursday. And some people, um, it's sad because they don't have, you know, the luxuries or the amount of time to get home to be with their families and things. They have to work on Thanksgiving holidays, which is sad. I think everybody should be off to be with their family. But what advice would you give to somebody out there who's suffering with anxiety or depression? Well, I want to speak from my perspective. Um 
what I can say is before you have a drink, before you have a smoke, yeah. uh, for your holidays, before, you know, you get in, let everybody in your space and, you know, cloud all that up, make sure you spend some time. Give yourself, like, maybe five to ten minutes. Just close your eyes, meditate, pray to your God, whatever your God is, wherever you get your power from. And um, just try to center yourself as best as possible. Things like working out, uh, herbs like ashwagandha, astragalus, those are great adaptogens to help the body regulate itself. Those are all things that I tried in my past. Um, but more recently, um, my surroundings and things, they kind of uh, affected my routine. So I, knew that, I noticed I needed like an extra bump, an extra boost to kind of get me back on track. So if you find yourself a little bit too angry, a little bit too anxious, not enjoying life, then I would definitely suggest you uh, reaching out to a doctor or psychiatrist to go get on some, you know, get, even if it's for a short, short period of time, because sometimes we go through traumatic things in life that we need to regroup from that we might not be able to do it ourselves. But uh, answer your question, get you some good herbs, uh, some good, some good uh, working out exercise, some good mother nature, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Time with self. Uh, just try to make that a habit at starting your day off like that. And um, just watch the the way of your life just begin to get better. You know what I'm saying? Just change all around. So, And not only that, but finding an outlet that works for you. Your, your outlet for you is music. And you do the crystals as well, too. And crystals. That is, is true. It's definitely uh, therapeutic. Um, mm -hmm. For me, it's been gardening, and I talk about it all the time. And my mom has gotten me into flowers and gardening and things and writing. So oh, finding okay. out that for us as people of color, we have to talk right. about it. We can't continue to sweep it up under a rug. And mm -hmm. I commend everybody 100% um, for coming out here and talking about their issues with mental health. Because yeah. for so long, we have been programmed to be desensitized to talking about depression. Depression. I, I'm not crazy. There's nothing wrong with me. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. talk about it. One hundred percent. I agree. That's true. So you do gardening. Um, I mean, you're 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 grounding yourself a lot. You're working with that root chakra a lot. Okay, I yeah. see you. <laughs> that and, and that and of course fashion. Fashion for me is an outlet. I love changing my therapeutic. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and I feel as though when you add color to your life and studies have proven this. It definitely helps your mental health as well, too. Like a pop of color. It could be gloomy outside and rainy, but I will always find the color in something, 100%. Yeah. Uh, somebody says, there's a tube guard. No, it's a grill. <laughs> uh -oh. It's a grill. Fire, fire by Nate. <laughs> yes, and that's a, another Black-owned company to watch out for. Fire by Nate. I've known him for a very, very long time. So I mean, you guys Please follow him as well, too, as well as Levi. Now, we've seen a perform I've seen a performance clip, mister. Let's talk about that. You were performing on Rihanna's. You were performing a cover for Rihanna's Lift Me Up, which is in the Wakanda Forever Black Panther 2 soundtrack and played at the end of the film. Um, and you had your shirt off and stuff. Now, there's the big question right here. Do you consider yourself a sex symbol? Because you, you sell it very, very well. And... <laughs> um. You wear it as like this armor over you, and you give us, how can I say it? You give us healing through your music, like your song Wilderness and then Manifest. It's, it's two sexy songs, but do you consider yourself as a sex symbol? That's it. Yeah, I mean, it's taken me some time to really step into that, but I've always been the same, you know what I'm saying? Just as I got older, I've always, uh, I feel like I advanced within my, uh, being comfortable within my se sexuality. Yeah. Uh, first of all, growing up as a gay black man, you know what I'm saying? With all that that comes with that, you know what I'm saying? And then um, getting older and um, ex experiencing with who I want to be or, or becoming completely who I am, um, I think this year I finally was able to get more comfortable in my masculinity. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's always been there, but this year it's like, man, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be. 
Because before, I feel like I would always try to be, like, perfect and prim and prop and, you know, and it, it, you don't have to necessarily be that. So being sexy, not just in when I take my shirt off, but being sexy because I'm confident, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just comfortable in who I am at all times. So, yeah, I guess I do. I mean, I get that from looking at the looks like Janet Jackson growing up and different artists like that really studying, you know, and being glued to the TV. Like, I used to watch people, Beyonce's live performances over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? I was obsessed growing up. <laughs> so, uh, just really taking from my inspirations and uh, putting a little bit of me or all of me in that. You know, I'm a Pisces. I'm, my sacral chakra is very important to us. We're very sensual beings and things like that. We're pleasers. We like to please. So I guess all of that, you know, it kind of exudes from me, which I'm, I'm glad to hear. <laughs> okay. So those are, so, and that led me to your next question. Who are some of your musical influences as well, too? Uh, I would have to say uh, Janet Jackson, uh, Mary J. Blige. I wasn't thinking about their name, but Mary J. Blige, definitely Brandy, uh, Beyonce, John Legend, uh, somebody else I'm thinking. Uh, and then when I got older, of course, one of my big influences is uh, Nicki Minaj. I love Nicki Minaj. Uh, these days, I'm, I'm jamming Lil Baby, uh, Lil Uzi Burp. I like them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, a little bit of everybody, but really right now it's Nikki. I'm rocking with Nikki right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, Rihanna, too. Let me not forget. Oh, Eric, Eric, that's who it is. Erica Badu. Erica Badu. One of my you. favorites. One of my favorites. Birthday three days after mine. I met her twice. No, three times. Amazing lady. Uh, actually inspired me to finish my first album. So, yeah. I could see that. I definitely could, because when I was listening to some of your music and I was playing them in my stories, I said, I said, he's got like an Erica Badu, kind of like Janet feel to him. It's, it's very sexy. It's very mellow. It's a whole vibe. So while you're in the studio, what is the process like for you when you're recording your music? What type of element do you like? It changes. Okay, so first album, I was like, you know, I wasn't drinking anything. It was no... No internet, no social media, no nothing. So it was incense, it was tea, it was fruit. Um, occasionally a blunt, you know, occasionally. Um, and maybe a little drink every now and then. But now, it probably would be similar, though. It probably would be similar, though. You know, just be, I like to be by myself, you know, because I, I already know how to record myself, do my own, lay my own vocals and all that kind of stuff. I don't like anybody to be in the room or the house. I like to be able to just, you know, sing as hard as I want to, mess up if I want to mess up, whatever, and not have to think about, you know, anybody in earshot to hear what's going on. <laughs> so, you know, in the studio, that's when you're experimenting. You're like, oh, maybe I have to do this. Maybe I have to do that. Maybe something that you've never even vocally done before. But, you know, I want to be able to be free to try it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So uh, what I do is, uh, I'll, list, I'll start a song, take it with me. If I got to go do a gig or something like that, put it in the car, let me hear it. Okay, when I get home, I'm going to change this, this, and that. I'm going to add this, this, and that. And then when I get back to the house, I'm, you know, adding it piece by piece. So, yeah. <laughs> and we got a question from you for um, Island Yankee, my paternal. He wants to know, do you write your music on a personal viewpoint or an empathetic? Ooh. A personal or empathetic? Um, I think it's both. Uh, I'm naturally empath empathetic. And um, I'll tell you this thing that I used to not like about myself. So I used to try to be bad in music. I used to try to be write songs where I was like angry about the situation. My mind would never let me do it. It would start off mad, but then it will turn into... So we gonna come out of this and da, 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 da. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It will go into like an inspiration type thing, and mm -hmm. it will happen all the time, repeatedly, no matter how hard I try. Like, what's the meanest thing I can say? Can't think of it. I want to go from here, you know. Well, I guess from here to there, you know what I'm saying? But as I got older, I started to accept that self, accept that about myself. I said maybe that's just my message. Maybe that's how it's supposed to go. So. um 
personal, yeah. But I also think it's empathetic as well. I'm um, always, any, if you ask anybody, they'll tell you I'm a considerate person. I uh, look out for others around us with my business or if I can help anybody in any kind of way. I'm just, I'm naturally an empathetic person. Okay. Okay. So it comes from uh, your experiences and your life. So mm -hmm. many things. And you unpack that like in the beginning you said in the interview. Um, Pisces stand up three five. And that's from my fraternal Island Yankee. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Pisces, and man. Yes, I'm a Scorpio. I meant to ask you that as well, too. Your your zodiac sign. What is your zodiac sign? By zodiac, I'm Pisces. Uh, I think I'm Pisces rising and Scorpio moon. I'm a Scorpio. Uh, my birthday was not too long. What was it? Not too long ago, October 31st. So, yeah. oh, okay. Happy belated. Mm -hmm. You know, thank both of my both of my parents are Scorpios. November seventh, my mom. November seventeenth, my dad. They ten days apart. Oh yeah, and we're water signs, so you already know yep. it's it's like y'all sneak y'all some sneaky water signs though. <laughs> Very mysterious. Yeah, my mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's what I meant. Mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and we leave a little to the imagination. <laughs> yes, yes. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So with us coming now halfway to a close out of this year, 2022, I've been asking people this all throughout the week, friends, family, whoever. Um, what is something that you're expecting for for the new year of 2023? Um, I'm expecting a lot, a lot of great things from 2023. I'm actually um, in the process of planning for 2023 in a way that I've never done before. I'm talking about implement implementation programs, smart goals. I'm talking about the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to my mentor, Kevin Anderson. He's been really helping me with that mm -hmm. uh, and instilling really positive things. And that's that's really what saved my life, having um, having older gay black men, gay black community to help lead. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. been many times I could have fell to the wayside or said forget it, but I have the likes of Kevin, has, who has helped me, uh, seen the value in me, still sees the value in me, and giving me various opportunities to, to succeed and also to survive. So um, very grateful for the community that I have been able to uh, experience here in Houston. Uh, it's helped me tremendously. And you said something that's very pivotal because a lot of people think, oh, well, um, I'm too old. I'm, I'm, I'm an adult. And why would I have a mentor? No, there is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having someone cultivate and help you, you always have a mentor. That push and say, okay, it's okay. You made a mistake, but you keep going. So there's nothing wrong with having a mentor or yeah. someone to second whatever you decide to go through. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I've been my mentor since 20, 24, 24, 23. And it's always someone older than you. It's always someone that has more information that might be able to help. The thing is, just get people, good people. You know, don't get anybody that's going to condescend you or make you feel less than about your situation. Make sure you get somebody who actually cares and wants to see you win. And as long as you got those kind of people, you don't even have to call them your mentors. You can just say, I got a bunch of people that care about me around me. You know what I'm saying? That's good enough. Absolutely, 100%. And tomorrow's guest, Rich Live, is here. So he'll be joining me tomorrow at 4. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Rich from the 919 from the Carolinas. So make sure you guys, make sure you tune in tomorrow, 4 p.m. And then 3 p.m. for Peter Onorati, who's going to be here. So you guys are getting two shows tomorrow. All right, Fashion Dolls, we're going to get into our games here with Levi. Um, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to type them in the comments. Or you can type them in the bubble. Whatever works for you. So we're going to do something called the Rapid Five. And you have to tell us five things you can't live without. And then we're going to do something called Crystal of Choice. So I'm going to name a few crystals. And you give me one word that describes each crystal that I name. So we're going to start off with the Rapid Five. Now, the Rapid Five consists of things that, you're, that are your favorite. They can be your favorite television shows to binge watch. It can be your goals, your passions your favorite drink, favorite food, whatever you want it to be, but it has to be top five things that Levi can't live without. So go. Oh, God. 
Um, so <laughs> I need the Crown Apple. I need my studio. I need uh, I need my crystals. I need uh, what else? <laughs> you put me on the spot. Um, water. <laughs> I need water. And then what's the last thing? Um, I don't know. I'm money. <laughs> look, look, you like that part. <laughs> it, it's de it is definitely a necessity in these times with everybody trying to get home for the holidays and things. Yeah. Ticket prices are going up. So that is definitely a must. Though That's a great choice. Thank you. You are so welcome. All right, Fashion Dolls. Those are his top five things. All right. The next one is called Crystal of Choice. Now, mm -hmm. some of these crystals we're all familiar with, but I want to see what Levi has to say about each one. What does it make him think about? Just one word. All right. So the first one that I'm going to start off with is one of my favorites because I love the color lilac and pink, of course. Amethyst. Ooh, spiritual development. Mm, okay. Turquoise. Honesty. Onyx. Uh, uh, protection. Geo. Mm, crown chakra. <laughs> okay. And cluster. Cluster. A lot of energy. <laughs> All right. All right, fashion dolls. And that is the crystal of choice. We got a question for you. Let's see. What direction do you want your music to go into in 2023? And that comes from my fraternal island name. What direction? Um, a cohesive direction. Um, an honest direction. I've been writing a lot. Uh, I just haven't got back in the studio just yet. So, um, and I want to go in a fun direction. I remember... Uh, Uniforia, I was working on that for 30 days straight, every day. That's all I did. I went to work, came home, worked on that. And I was just in this space of, like, putting together the science project. And I want to be back there for this next project. I just want to be, you know, hitting the pavement. That's the only thing I think about. Wake up, you know, dream, sleep, everything, you know. That's what I want, you know. Absolutely. 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 Um, any other questions for Levi, Fashion Dolls, and myself? This is such a great conversation. It is, you're like a breath of fresh air to have you here that we never knew we needed because we needed something, especially with everything that's going on in the world. Like, how do you protect your peace? Because I know I'm the same way. I avoid the headlines of everything that's going on with the elections and everything. It can be, it can be exhausting. Yeah. So how for you, how do you protect your peace? Um, I don't watch the news often unless, you know, I, I watch it every now and then. Um, and I stay my ass at home. <laughs> the best unless, I'm getting, unless I'm getting paid to perform or something like that, I stay my ass at home. <laughs> you know, that took me some time to realize. But, uh, I mean, and all of a sudden I, I just leave with the best intentions. But if I am out, if I am around people, uh, I... Lead with the best intentions, and I don't, I don't rush. Don't run the red light. Just always be able to observe uh, versus just reacting all the time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, this just in, in case you guys didn't know, um, I was asked to appear on the panel for Geekcaster tonight. So make sure you guys yeah. tune in tonight at eight p.m. on Geekcaster on YouTube. Um, and the topic is going to be mental health and how we come at the pop culture topics that we think are important. So make sure you guys tune in tonight at 8 p.m. on Geekcaster for that as well. Also, I had to plug that in there. Um, yeah, I just got the message. <laughs> so make sure you guys tune in tonight at 8 on Geekcaster. But definitely it's important and imperative that you protect your peace. You are a whole vibe, Levi, and... Your energy is just amazing and it's powerful and I feel it through the screen. Thank so you. 
Speaking of energy, because we talked about the crystals, how do you protect your energy? Because I see also that you're big in meditation, yoga, and fitness as well also. Mm -hmm. um, meditation, <laughs> yoga, prayer, um, writing things down, journaling. You know what I'm yes. saying? There's journaling, uh, getting those ideas out. It's good to have a dream journal as well. I've been having a lot of vivid dreams as well. At, uh, lately, but I ain't mad about it, but I'm just like, okay. <laughs> um, don't force yourself around any groups of people, any situations that may not be best for you, and uh, just pray for the spirit of discernment for that. That's a yeah. great way to take your peace. Absolutely. Listen to listen to yourself because sometimes we already have the intuition and the spirit of discernment. Just gotta listen to yourself. So I think that would be the number one thing: listen to your body, listen, listen to yourself. One hundred percent. Shout out to Jay Evans. Also, um, we're gonna be doing the music panel Christmas editions. Me, him, and my brother K Tubes. Both of them are my brothers, Jay Evans and K Tubes. So make sure you guys tune in for that next month as well. Also. So I had to throw those plugs out there. Um, final thoughts, Levi. Are there any advice that you would give to people who are looking to get into crystal? Because this is your dream. This is your passion. This is your heart's desires. And I've kind of dabbled in it as well, too. So what advice would you give to someone who's looking to get into crystals and, you know, just protecting their energy, mental health, and so many? I would say um, don't let anyone touch your crystal. Uh, make sure when you first buy your crystals that you're putting them in direct sunlight in your garden or in, on the ground in some grass for at least five minutes. Um, that helps clear out the negative energy. You want to do that once a week, once every other week, something like that. Just create a routine with yourself. Uh, also, plant your attention into your crystal. So don't just put it on and be like, oh, I got a crystal. Make a wish, you know what I'm saying? Um, be very specific. You can write it down as well. You know what I'm saying? You can write it down. And there's a whole process that you could do. And if you're looking to, for more information about that process, you can reach out to me. I have various crystals and I have various uh, worksheets that I can send you and get you the breakdown of how to program your crystal, how to keep it clean, crystal maintenance, all of that. Mm -hmm. All right, fashion dolls. Um, do we have any questions or final thoughts before we conclude with Levi? This was such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. I feel the same. Definitely. Definitely. And we'd love to have you back on in the future. So we covered a number of things, and I hope you guys all took something from this, from the mental health aspect to the protecting your peace part, with everything that's going on, because these next few weeks with midterms are right around the corner for the runoff in Georgia is going to be crazy. And, and I know it's going to cause a lot of anxiety and stress for people. So please make sure that you are protecting your peace at all costs. Spend time with your families. Get out. Unplug if you need to. Take breaks. There are days when you won't see Style by Stevie Daytime do a show uh, because I've either taken a break and spending time with my family. There are days when you won't see me live. But the days that you know that I'm on, make sure you set your reminders when I post those flyers and post them to the stories. Make sure you guys are subscribed to Style by Stevie Daytime so you can catch past and previous episodes and so much more to keep your mind off of everything that's going on because we offer joy here on my planet. And that's yeah. one thing that I want to continue to keep giving people is joy. Thank you. All right, Fashion Dolls, any, um, if we don't have any last questions or Final comments or remarks, let everyone know where they can follow you and check out the music and your crystals as well. Also. Um, you can find me on all social media at Levi TCG, Levi TCG. And then you can find me on all streaming platforms at Levi D Great, T H E E, Levi D Great. And you can find all my projects there. And yeah. thank you so much for this platform. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you. Anytime, definitely would love to have you back on in the future. Again, ladies and gentlemen, Levi CG. Make sure you guys check out his music, his single Wilderness on all streaming platforms, his album Euphoria. 
all of that on streaming platforms everywhere. So make sure you guys go and support him. Shout outs to Fire Nate. Shout outs to everyone. Again, Geek Caster tonight at 8 p.m. The topic is mental health um, and pop culture. So make sure you guys subscribe to the Geek Caster channel on YouTube and you will see a fabulous face there at 8 p.m. I will be there. Um, tomorrow, Peter Onorati and Rich Live 919 will be joining me tomorrow. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. And Friday, we have Justin F. Hollins. Thursday, no show because guess what? It's Thanksgiving. So spend time with your family and the ones that you love. I love you all, you guys. Take care and be safe, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care.